close your eyes gently relax the shoulders let your feet be firmly on the ground your hands can be in your lap or on your thighs palms facing the sky come to a comfortable posture without any strain in any part of the body invoke gratitude in your heart thank the lord for all the blessings and the challenges that we have every moment life is an opportunity to evolve to rise higher and higher to go deeper and deeper in devotion so be thankful to the lord for all the people that we have in our life the knowledge that we have a healthy body our work and achievements the spiritual sadhana that we do be grateful to the lord for all these and much more know that the grace of the lord is always with us so remove any hesitation drop any fears when the infinite lord is with us there is nothing to fear these few moments are our moments with the lord exclusive appointment with the lord these are the most precious and blessed moments where we try to connect with that which alone is real so let us chant the verse of the gita and invoke this bhav in us you can repeat prashantatma vigata bhi hi brahmachari vrate sthitah मन संयम्य मच्चि युक्त आसीत मत्पर प्रशांतात्मा टू बी काम एंड क्वाइट फ्री फ्रॉम एनी फियर विगत भी ब्रह्मचारी व्रते स्थित टू बी एस्टैब्लिश इन मॉडरेशन एंड सिंगल पॉइंटेड परस्यूट ऑफ ब्राह्मण द सुप्रीम लॉर्ड 
manasanyamya matchittaha having controlled the mind focusing only on the lord yukta asita matparaha one sits with the soul aim that the lord alone is supreme and i want to be one with the lord consciousness alone is supreme i want to realize consciousness this is the first step preparation and posture second step auto suggestion with all your will power suggest to the mind that for the next 30 minutes i am steady and still without any movements except breathing no other voluntary movement of the body suggest to the mind that for the next 30 minutes i am steady and still without any movements a still body helps to still the mind second auto suggestion i am alert awake and quiet i am alert awake and quiet third auto suggestion i am a seeker or a devotee at this moment that is the only role i am playing all other roles can wait I am a seeker and a devotee. Just like when we play any sport, we are only sports person, a player. We forget everything else. same way i am only a seeker devotee third step present moment awareness be aware of the simple happenings around you be aware of any sounds of the silence of the chillness in that atmosphere the carpet below your feet the sound of the Kesi non-judgmental awareness of whatever is happening around you Every moment is a new moment just be aware of what is happening around without any further thought just be aware
fourth step relaxation of the body visualize your entire left leg from the thighs to the toes pay attention to the left leg we will relax each and every part of the body through deep breathing and a thought massage So as we take a deep breath the part we visualize relaxes and as we say the word relax you exhale slowly and let go of any stress or strain in that part of the body So let us relax the left leg from the thigh to the toes inhale take a deep breath relax relax the right leg from the thigh to the toes inhale relax inhale relax the hips the navel the stomach take a deep breath relax 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 once again a deep breath relax 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 the trunk all the vital organs of the body are in the trunk be aware of the chest the lungs the heart different parts which are in the trunk take a deep breath relax 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 once again take a deep breath relax relax relax
relax the left hand from the shoulder to the fingers. Visualize the entire left hand. Take a deep breath. Relax. 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 Once again, take a deep breath. Relax. 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 Slower the exhalation, deeper is the relaxation. So let go of any hurry. Do it as slowly as possible. Without any jerks. Slow and steady. Relax the right hand from the shoulder to the fingers. Take a deep breath. Relax. 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 Once again, take a deep breath. Relax the back. Visualize the entire back. The erect spinal column. Upper back, middle, lower back. Base on which you are seated. Take a deep breath. Relax. 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 Once again, a deep breath. Relax. 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 Relax the neck, the face. Be aware of the top, the back and the sides of the head. Take a deep breath. Relax. 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 Once again, take a deep breath. Relax. 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 Consciously, we have relaxed each and every part of the body. Once again, take a deep breath. Relax the head. Relax. 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 
continue to breathe slow steady and deep and with every breath feel that the whole body is flooded with light and energy and as you exhale let go of any stress or strain this is the fifth step where we observe the breath so as you breathe slow steady and deep observe how the body responds to it as the breath comes in and goes out just be aware of every single breath breathe consciously steady and deep breathing the sixth step is visualization of the form invocation of the form in the space between the two eyebrows or in your heart visualize a circle of white light as clearly as you can visualize a circle of white light which is pure and divine which is bright and brilliant visualize a circle of white light invoke the form of your sadguru if you have one if you don't have a sadguru any form of the lord or just the white light itself can be the symbol of the sadguru
we invoke the grace of the guru parampara especially our satguru so that our mind can be quiet can do the sadhana with devotion and surrender so invoke the form of the satguru and imagine you are in front of the satguru with folded hands praying that may the grace of the satguru be with us so as you are sitting in front of the satguru with the bhav that the lord himself is this form let us chant you can repeat gurur brahma gurur vishnu ho गुरुर देवो महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात पर ब्रह्म तस्म श्री गुरव नम माता पिता बंधो सखा विद्याद्रविण मम देंटली ऑफर सम फ्लॉर्स एट द फीट ऑफ द सदगुरु feel that the hand of the satguru is on your head and know that the grace of the satguru leads us guides us and protects us let us invoke the form of lord shiva shiva is the adi guru the presiding deity of meditation the destroyer in the trinity who destroys all our negativities impurities and ultimately destroys our ignorance bhagwan shiva has jata long black and brown matted hair symbolizing penance and austerity
and it is this austerity that made him the only one capable of withstanding the force of ganga ji if we want to achieve anything great in life austerity and penance is very important so visualize his long black matted hair out of which flows a streak of mother ganga the symbol of devotion knowledge and service may we live our life with the attitude of service serving people around us selflessly genuinely the lord has a crescent moon on his left side of the forehead the moon is symbolic of the waxing and the waning of our mind when bhagwan has the moon on his forehead it does not go through this process meaning let our mind be steady and firm without oscillations on the forehead bhagwan has the third eye which is closed the other two eyes are partially open partially closed the lord is neither in sleep nor complete extrovertedness one eye of the lord is pure love the other eye is detachment and acceptance and the third eye is the eye of intuition each of us can invoke these three in our lives that may we love people and yet give them their freedom and space and as our mind becomes pure our intuition becomes stronger we take decisions from the heart we take balanced decisions rather than impulsive decisions there is a gentle smile on the face of the lord there are two ear rings in the ear lobes of the lord the neck of the lord is blue in color lord shiva is karpura gauram he is bright he is white but his neck is blue in color symbolizing compassion for the whole universe 
that he took poison to save the whole universe when the world throws poison at us let us not become bitter let us become better the devotee of the lord would always act out of compassion forgiveness around the neck of the lord is a black snake snake is the symbol of time snake is the symbol of death bhagwan is timeless and beyond death mrityunjay body and the mind they have a birth and they will die but consciousness is immortal and that is our nature immortality bhagwan wears rudraksh malas on his chest around his arms There is a powerful energy field around the Lord. The Lord has smeared bhasma or vibhuti all over the body. the lord lives in detachment symbolized by vibhuti ultimately one day our body also will become ashes so why is be so attached to this body The Lord sits in Padmasan, contemplating on the Supreme Self. He has an elephant skin around his waist, symbolizing mastery over lust, and he sits on a tiger skin, symbolizing mastery over anger. there is a trishul beside the lord the three pointed tips of the trishul help to destroy all negativities and there is a damaru tied to the trishul which helps us to awaken our mind this is the most auspicious form of lord shiva shiva itself means auspicious pure consciousness
visualize that you are sitting in front of the lord and with all devotion let us invoke the lord shivam shantam jagannatham लोकानुग्रहकारकम् शिवमेकपदम् नित्यम् शिकारायनमो नमः Lord Shiva is ever calm and peaceful. He is the Lord of the universe. Always kind and compassionate towards all. The true nature of the Lord is pure consciousness which alone is real. To that Supreme Lord is a my salutation. Keep this form of the Lord in the mind. And together let us chant 11 times Om Namah Shivaya. It means I salute the Lord. I prostrate to the Lord Shiva. Om Namah Shivaya. Om Namah Shivaya 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 Continue mentally Om Namah Shivaya Continue in your mind now. Lord Shiva is Satyam, Shivam and Sundara. Truth, 
auspiciousness and beauty. May we have the blessings of Lord Shiva with us. So that we also realize in our hearts Satyam Shivam Sundar. Offer some flowers to the Lord mentally. Offer some bilva leaves. Perform a pradakshina, walk around the Lord and come in front of the Lord and prostrate in surrender. With his Abhay Hasta, Bhagwan blesses everybody. Feel the grace and the blessings of the Lord pervade your entire being. Feel that the hand of the Lord is on your head and his grace and blessings are with you. Be aware of your breath. Be aware of your body. Be aware of the happenings around you. We pray for the well-being of the whole universe. Om Sarve Bhavantu Sukhinaha Sarve Santu Niramayaha Sarve Bhadrani Pashyantu Ma kaschit dukha bhag bhavet Asatoma sadgamaya Tamasoma jyotir gamaya Mrityorma amritam gamaya Om shanti 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 Hari Om Shri Guru Bhyo Namaha Hari Om Rub your palms, place them on the face and gently open the eyes. <laughs>